Hello everyone. In this video tonight, let's have a look what do they think, feel, intend towards you right now. At this time, we have four different tarot cards here. Number one, two, three, and four. If you'd like to have a go in having this reading, please think of a person or persons. You can choose up to four and pick your deck and take your time please have you chosen? so let's have a look starting with our deck number one cosmic tarot deck let's see if we can get any idea from the tarot cards What do they think of you? What do they think of you? Okay. What do they think of you? Well, they might think that you are you know you're sad right now you're sad you're disappointed about something um, overall you're a good person it can be that you're uh, a person who has lots of interest or uh, let's say studying hobbies new courses uh, you have some freshness in you like someone who would like to you know to start something new in life you know, the Prince of Wands, uh, for example, for example, a study or some sort of project or some sort of even travel, you know, like you're a very ambitious maybe person and you're ambitious creatively, you know, creatively, you're a very soft person, emotional person, you are ruled by your emotions, you know, you're not a logical, rational, practical person. So, uh, they can recognize some sort of sadness or disappointments in you and like you're trying to make some new decisions in life and I think these decisions are about your career <clears throat> or studying or something like that. But other than that, they have some sort of soft corner for you because Queen of Cups is... Um, you know, I would say a person likes you. So, what do they feel about you? Look at that card. Ten of Swords. The Star. Four of Pentacles. Well, we have a little bit of drama when it comes to their feelings. I'm getting that, you know, the Ten of Swords, maybe there was some sort of drama in your relationship in, in there, how they felt about you. Like, um, it was very difficult in the beginning. Maybe they couldn't speak when they were with you, you know, because I'm kind of feeling like something with a throat here with this card. Like, uh, maybe, you know, when they meet you, they can't speak. It's something like strangling them. Um, so they are afraid to speak when it comes to you. And there is there were some sort of hopes, you know, maybe a crush even. You know, but it was like, it can't happen, but I would like it would happen. Maybe in my dreams it will happen, you know, that some sort of like very interesting relationship. But in the end, they take control of their emotions and they probably uh, deal with you in a very practical way. Here... Well, I'm getting still there is stability. Emotionally, there is a drama, but um, there is also stability, some sort of practical element. Like maybe um, you work together, maybe you deal with each other somehow. Um, <coughs> that sort of situation. They, I don't feel they want to let you know about their feelings because they have quite a few feelings here almost dreaming, almost psychic experience, almost a dream, something like that. But they still kind of 
have another feeling for you which is non-romantic which is friendly and uh, something that brings them back to the planet earth that sort of thing so I don't know why but I'm getting that they might have been um, interested in you because of the star card and this card here it's like it was not meant to happen. Something like that. from the beginning it was meant to not happen. And they decided that it's going to be only in the dreams. <clears throat> but there is this like pull or hope or something with the star. And then they end up uh, basically just dealing with you practically here. Like uh, talking to you normally, like with normal face. You cannot read their emotions. They want to hide their emotions. So... Or maybe they have some sort of business with you that they want to keep and they don't want these emotions to, you know, basically come in there <clears throat> in that business. So they have this self-control here. Okay, so what are the plans uh, towards you? What are the plans? Three of Swords. You kind of are disappointed about something. They are accepting some sort of ending or loss in this relationship like with the three of swords we have people like in a funeral or something mourning it's a loss uh i think their plans are uh, there is an element of this relationship like uh, an aspect of this relationship that has been buried somewhere and right now the how to say uh and the kind of Gather, that gather, uh, gather themselves together, and they only want to um, have a very down to earth, normal, this polite kind of relationship, like friends or colleagues or or something like that. So I feel they're sad about something, but it's not about you; it's about their feelings or something, um, and they still have good opinion about you and good intentions also what's the advice for you regarding this person sun well of course first of all i'm gonna say sun is <clears throat> keep that positive uh optimistic view towards this person keep that optimistic energy when you talk to them smile when you talk to them be positive you know you know no heavy feelings the sun can also talk about a child a child that you or they have and uh, and the relationship is happening the way it's happening because of a child it can totally be that in some relationships child is of course it's a very very important part okay so this was our reading number one let's move on to reading number two now Our reading number two, Yukio Tarot deck. We are asking the thoughts about the thoughts, feelings, intentions towards you right now. So, what are the thoughts towards you right now? The Empress, Page of Swords, the Emperor. Very interesting. Well, first of all, Empress and Emperor can be husband and wife. And the Page of Swords can be some sort of a fight or argument between husband and wife. Because it's like cutting in between. It can talk about lies and, you know, various uh, awkward things happening between you two. Uh, so, it's a very interesting combination. What do they think about you? Well, maybe they think about you as a woman who had an argument with her partner or husband. It can be some sort of like uh, stability is going here, as if you're married or something. Like there is some sort of power. And um, it can be like they see you as a family, like you, your husband and your child. You know, you are kind of together, living, and that's how they see you. And uh, a married woman. Uh, they might see you as your partner, as your spouse, and um, you know, every and that contains everything that the 
this Empress card contains. It's like being a housewife, being a mother, being a um, nurturer, protector, decorator of the house, of, you know, everything. So for me, uh, it's something like that. Other than that, I feel respect. Be what they think about you. It's like you have a like, higher position somewhere. Like some sort of respect is there. Like you have a status. Um, you have a good place in society. There is some sort of stability. Um, Page of Swords can talk about a little bit of a, an approachability from your side. Can talk maybe about some aloofness or cool, you know, cold. Like coming from you. Like um, you're strict. You know, you're formal. You're official. You um, like that. You know, and that sort of thing. Of course, the Empress and Emperor looks like a king and queen here. So maybe they look at you like you're the royal, some sort of family, or you're a royal person. Because these cards really are very. They have some sort of higher feel in it, more superior, more like. Here are he, Page of Swords. It's like uh, usually not a very good card. It comes when the conflicts are there. It comes when insults are there, when lies are there. You know, splits and all these things. Um, but sometimes it can just mean official, formal relationships. So something like that we have here. Something we have had. Of course, it has a lot more meanings. Um, these three cards Emperor, Spirit of Swords and Emperor what do you think about you? Well, I would say like you belong to somewhere like a husband or or some sort of like responsibility you have something very like royal family has so yeah Let's move on now to the question number two. What do they feel about you? The full nine of wands. Magician. Interesting. Well, feelings are like fraud, you know, like fraud is going, full magician and nine of swords, some like bad news or something like that, um, something like a, like a gamble or something like that came unexpectedly into their life, like fell from the sky and this person got all um, confused maybe with this card, we have a little bit like of cherry, <laughs> jolly cherry, uh, mood here, fool and magician. It's like not serious, something not serious. So it could be that some jokes, some not serious stuff, like not taking seriously, but also like a game, like a gamble, that sort of thing. What do they feel about you? Well, cards are definitely interesting. Uh, I, th I would say you're important to them. Very important because, but also there is either a mistake, they feel that you are a mistake or some uh, bad accident or something like uh, unexpected surprise or someone maybe who cheated them even or Yeah, the feeling is, don't trust this person, don't trust this person, like they don't trust, they shouldn't trust you, that sort of thing. Nine of Swords is not a good card, it's like, maybe it's in their head, maybe they thought about it, maybe it's just a self-created thing, but there is an element of a joker, like, they feel that they cannot trust you because you're a magician, you're the fool, and you confuse them with nine of swords so that sort of thing like there's lots of risk when it comes to you like very slippery and very kinda that sort of thing okay so let's see now um, what are their intentions towards you 
death, sun, oh my gosh, strength, what kind of person you thought of, like, we have major con only, death, intentions, you know, uh, definitely it's to, like, I would say fight back or something like that, like, fight back, they feel a threat, uh, some sort of threat uh, from you, or they take you ser uh, seriously. They understand your either power or who you like are. Like you can change them. You can. You're not just like that. They're very aware of you. Um, now. If you have kids, no, I just can't help but I'm saying kids because for me, son is like, first of all, a kid. So if you have kids, so because of kids, their plan is to be strong because of kids. Yeah, with you. Um, maybe they think your relationship has kind of ended. They accept and acknowledge that death. and But it's just two children. can be, of course, one child. I don't know, it can be brotherhood, it can be friendship, maybe you're asking about your brother or sister or your um, partner, I don't know, but, or maybe kids, yeah, so there is strength, it's usually patience and courage and willingness to fight for what's here, so they're gonna uh, do everything, I think, to protect something or keep going to the end or not let you take something from them something like that so they have lots of courage as well they're like a lion in any case these cards seem to be very very strong like lots of very like you're important to them and the um something's going on very strong on the other level so plans it could be some sort of battle because of kids for example people who are taking a divorce or something i don't know something like that, like struggle. I want to see what strength card is appearing. Uh, what uh, strength card is referring to. We have page of cups. So I think it's definitely children or even an animal. It can be that they want to give to a puppy or a kitten or something because I have this very kiddish card. And it doesn't make sense when I say now that there's something serious and they're trying to fight and things like that. It could be that um, intention is to give you um, like a puppy or an animal as a gift or it's about a baby. We have that sort of situation. Uh, yeah. So, okay, um, this can be a fad, parents and children relationship as well. Something unusual. Okay, so this is our reading. Now, let's ask what is the advice regarding this person to you? The Wheel of Fortune, again, Major Arcana, very interesting. I would say be very open-minded with this person. Expect different types of surprises. Uh, be very flexible. And um, I think just let it go. Just let it go and surrender. And uh, things might be very surprising when it comes to this person. So we have that sort of situation. Let's have a look at our deck number three. Article number three it's the
Fortune Wheels Dames Tarot. Question is, what do they think about you? What do they think about you? Well, they might think something like um, you're somewhere far away, you're not with them, maybe you're unhappy about something, crying or something, um, maybe you're, disappoint uh, you're not living in your country, for example, and you're feeling upset about that distance thing, and... Uh, it could be that they also think about you as some sort of playboy or playgirl, uh, having lots of fans, successful, people love you, and uh, you have many people who are interested in you, and simply, you know, that sort of situation. Um, what do they think of you? So there is, um, you're unsatisfied about something, let's see, you're unsatisfied about the distance, I would see, about living in a place where you don't want to live, but there is a compensation, some sort of, uh, this thing is compensated by people loving you, and it can be also romantic, uh, some sort of uh, attention, like from the opposite, you know, sex, things like that. So overall, it's um, they have different thoughts about you, I would say. They have different thoughts about you. Maybe they see you also as a person who uh, was very driven in the beginning and who was very determined and things like that, like had a dream or something. And dream didn't work out uh, as fine. So like they see disappointed. But that love that comes from people is still there. Like, your happiness is not there, but other people's appreciation is still there. Something like that. Now, um, so let's, or for that matter, also can be being regretful for the fact that you control yourself and in some ways, you know, it can be that sort of thing. And then suddenly they see your real you. Uh, like you um, released your efforts, you, you released your um, self-control and all these things, and now you're kind of relaxed and you're a nice person, something like that. Now, what do they feel about you? Um... So again, we have many different feelings. Well, feel, uh, feeling, first of all, there's some use. You're useful to them. You're promising. They find you exciting. They think you're very... Uh, maybe you have a business mind or you're just contemplating some new projects and you're very, like, uh, you're always thinking something, you're always planning something, you know, something new, something to earn money, with, uh, maybe you're trying different schemes and, you know, um, talking to them about these things, like, on, you know, like, um, I'm planning this and that, what if we do this, you know, this will happen. So it can be that sort of person very... A business oriented person like they might be thinking about you so I feel that there's like potential that they feel about you lots of potential and like you can give them something um, and they, they believe that you can achieve something you know that there's a huge potential in your financial potential uh, creative business type of potential all kinds of things and it's just the beginning Okay, so what um, are their intentions towards you? Okay, so, well, I think the intentions are to basically um, focus if, you, if you're married, if you're together, so they want to keep in this relationship going. They want to keep this very... Um, uh, like active, you know, they want to discuss with you, talk with you, uh, like be a family here, 
they want maybe they believe that it's a destiny you know for you to be and together and they want to do that till the end like sort of listen to uh, that destiny and the fact that you are meant to be together the other meaning can be simply that they um want to talk to they want to communicate with you they want to uh, deliver a message to you there's a lot to say maybe they want to even listen to the music with you um maybe they want it to be the way it was before you know your relationship if it's a marriage so so they want it to be like before if it's a friendship they want it to be like very permanent and like real well, how to put it? For me, it's like a karmic relationship that lasts for all life. And and I think this person is interested in the long-term, you know, relationship. Basically, the, the plans are to talk to a lot. Yeah, to talk to a lot, to, to, to discuss, to communicate and uh, to focus on that permanent bond that you have with each other maybe a house maybe kids maybe um well if it's not a family maybe property um discussing some property some business issues you know that sort of thing and what is advice for you regarding this person seven of coins well here we have a card which is You know, basically talking about a financial, some sort of uh, situation. Maybe it's about sharing the money. And maybe it's about being alert when it comes to money and this person. Maybe it's saying that you should give your money to that person to take care of because you're very bad at taking care of that money. You have great ideas and plans, but maybe they're better at taking care of the money, you know. And some sort of partnership, you know, like with this person, financial, and uh, like keep being together, keep working together, that sort of thing. What else? It can say that a uh, money problem might also bring conflicts into your relationship, so basically be aware of how you manage that sort of area with money. Mm. it can say that you could make a great partnership with each other you know it could say that right now that's the most important thing between you two uh, the financial some sort of like a, either adventure or a business plan or something like that but uh, nevertheless I think it's very um A very practical and long term something like that okay this was our reading number three let's move on to reading number four our reading number four tarot, Spanish tarot actually what do they think about you right now four of Coins, the high priest, four of wands. What do they think? There is stability, some sort of respect. Um, maybe they think you're a very great teacher, maybe they think you're a good um, advice, a friend, or someone, or even a client, or um, you deliver very good uh, advice. Maybe you're a good writer or speaker or maybe write books or you have a blog, you know, here. So they see as a teacher, like owner, superior figure uh, who deals with teaching, helping, spreading some sort of like knowledge and sharing messages and information with others. There is absolute uh, 
appropriateness here. Like, do, do you feel that you're doing the right thing, you know, you're, you're very good at what you do, you know, you're very stable at what where you are, you know, and that sort of thing. If you own a bookshop, for example, if you own a bookshop, or if you own any other, like, shop in a building or school or something, they might simply associate you with that place. Like, oh, that's the person who works there, or that's the person who owns this blog, or that's the person who owns this bookshop, or, <clears throat> or, or something like that. So they might simply don't have many, many like, personal... Fee, uh, thoughts is just through your profession through your craft that they see you in a way okay so let's see um, what are the feelings towards you mm. Feelings are definitely good. Feelings are definitely good. They might see you as someone who provides some sort of spiritual help, um, you know, and and also satisfaction and pleasure. Uh, someone that takes care of take cares of you and heals you, and you know and. Um, what do they feel about you? Well, I'm feeling basically love. Love, happiness, satisfaction, but a very lazy satisfaction. Like, um, maybe you do something, uh, maybe you cook. <laughs> it's like food, you know. I don't feel that what you provide is very scientific or very, how to put it? I think it's more like food for your soul, that sort of thing. So they feel that you're necessary for them to feel good. Yeah, emotionally good. And it can also be a little bit of um, satis uh, physical satisfaction. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I feel that they feel good when they are with you. You make them feel relaxed. Now let's see what about uh, their intentions toward you. <clears throat> I'm still thinking what this all means. It can be like a writer who writes books that uh, people like to read, for example. And that makes them feel like they are lazing around, relaxing with those books. I feel these two queens are both you, a part of you. This is the, you know, like what you give to that person. This is what um, they feel when they get that what you give them and this is as well what they feel and this is the end result like they get something and they get too much and they feel guilty about it <laughs> even like it's so much pleasure so what are their intentions towards you okay sun came out the reversed don't read reversals but Look, uh, intentions are very interesting here, very passive. It shows that this person might have thought about abandoning this path when it comes to the relationship with you. Maybe their optimism has been a little bit challenged somehow. You know, uh, maybe they have no energy. Or maybe there is some sort of even, like... Uh, exhaustion and ener uh, energetical exhaustion with the four of swords and the sun like overburn like the person is burned out because of too much that they invested in, in the beginning maybe 
or because they've stopped seeing the clarity or stopped feeling uh, enthusiasm, something like that. So, and basically intentions are peaceful. I think they want to slow it down. When it comes to the relationship here, maybe there's a threat to their health. And that's the reason why they want to slow down as well. Maybe they are looking for the real purpose here in life. And um, basically the end line is that intentions are passive. No particular plans, just to keep it in the limit, to keep it relaxed, to keep it, you know, slow and, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's see what is the advice for you regarding this person. The Emperor. Well, the first thing is maybe um, you can trust this person. The person is going to stick to what they're doing for a long time. The <clears throat> they're responsible. They... You know, the, the, the person who wants to take care of other people. Um, and, uh, and I think the advice is to think logically. Don't get into the emotions and things. And that's probably the best way to think right now. What else? Uh, sometimes uh, it can simply point to a male, like husband or a male person. Like it depends on the husband. Like husband knows or he will decide. You know that sort of situation. Basically, it's a card of stability, and might advise you to stay stable in the situation. There's some sort of guarantee with the emperor. You know that. This person is responsible. So yeah, this was our reading number four. I really hope that this uh, made some clues for some people. And uh, appreciate you watching this video. I hope to meet you again in the next experimental sort of video. And I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.